As a researcher, I like to ask questions. How can we support the transition towards a more sustainable future? What technological improvements could we provide to help this transition? And knowing that, what knowledge would be needed to obtain these technological advances? Ever since I started my studies in metals and material science, I've been fascinated by the way one can change the properties of metals by simply changing the way of heating and cooling. You can either have a steel that is soft and ductile, and by heating up to a specific temperature for a specific time, you can change that soft steel into a very hard and very strong material with decent toughness. And in fact, you can apply a whole range of different thermal profiles to this base steel and gain a whole range of different material properties. And that way, you can really change the properties of steel to a specific application. And furthermore, you can affect the chemical and physical and mechanical properties by changing the amount and the type of alloying elements. For me, metallurgy is kind of another universe. And working in this universe is like putting together a puzzle or putting together the perfect plan. You have to figure out all of the outcomes of a specific action. You have to understand the physics behind metals from an atomic perspective. And you have to understand how atom moves, how they behave, why they move, and what defects they can introduce to the steels. And if you control these defects, and control the behavior of the atoms, you can control the way the steel behaves. In my PhD project, I'm working with development of a new manufacturing technology that we call metal powder extrusion. Basically, powder metal extrusion is a production method where we transform very fine metal powder into solid, dense metal components. It is possible through a principle that we call sintering, where metal powders or metal powder particles are bound together at very high temperatures. We use metal powder extrusion to manufacture large, thin-walled, seamless structures in various alloys, from high-strength steels to high-entropy alloys and high-strength, high-ductility tip steels. What is really exciting about this technology is that it provides the world with a type of structural element that has great potential, but due to the lack of production method, it simply hasn't been available to the industry. Because of that, from an industrial point of view, these structural elements simply doesn't exist. And of course, therefore, design engineers never plan on using these elements in their applications. And therefore, the potential of these elements are simply not being explored. For instance, one application that I'm working on in my PhD is the industrialization of extruded trip or trip steels. Trip and trip steel is a relatively recently discovered type of steel that has a very high strength very high ductility, making these steels extremely good at taking up energy upon deformation. In practice, that means that these materials are very useful for crash management systems. With metal powder extrusion, we can manufacture very light profiles of trip or trip steels with an internal geometry that's optimized for crash performance so that we get improved safety in our vehicles. In the same time, we're very likely to reduce the weight of the car, which of course eventually lower the carbon footprint. We really just started to discover applications for this technology. We are sure that there's hundreds of applications out there waiting to be discovered and we would love your help to find them. My name is Christian Luc. I'm a PhD student working with Syntex and the Technical University of Denmark. In my daily work, I work with development and implementation of new alloys and optimization of the processes behind powder metal solutions.